Hello there guys, Francis Gray here and welcome back to part 3 of the Michael Myers The Night He Came Home Halloween Diorama Build. <laughs> okay guys, so welcome back to part 3. Um, this was how we left the end of part 2. Uh, basically everything's been... Uh, base coat with a mushroom grey, uh, we've got the little light stuck out the bottom for the jack-o'-lantern to light up, uh, obviously Michael's grey primed ready for paint, uh, the screen door's been made, the The door behind it's being base coated uh, a, a dark brown, we've done the the glass, we've well mimicked plastic to look like glass, uh, the only new part, or new parts, is uh, I've made these parts here, which are these little side decoration uh, mo I, uh, motifs, I suppose, that, that come out and, 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 and flow in and out. So that's probably a better view of it, so as you can see there. Same again, it's just been glued underneath. The uh, holes have been left uh, to house the top of these brackets. So it's a little bit more technical to get on now because obviously it needs to fit in sorry about that Michael so yeah so that all fits nice and uh, nice and flush now and it comes up to the front of the uh, roof which is really nice now there are two other ones little smaller ones that go in these top corners now I will be making them and I will be adding them but those are uh, those look like they're going to be a lot more tricky to make so they might take me a bit longer so there's no point waiting on this while I make them, I might as well crack on with painting these. Uh, the only other new thing is I had a, a Halloween nameplate printed off. So once that's painted up, that's going to go on the front there. Now originally I was just going to put it on the bottom of the base, like that. But uh, I am, I'm actually quite tempted to maybe somehow attach it to the front of the stair there. So... Because obviously I need to be able to get access to the battery pack back there. So if this was down here, then if I go to move it, it might uh, it might interrupt and get in the way. So it probably would be better housed on the bottom stair. So I'll have a think on that, but that's probably the way it's going to go. So yeah, so the next part uh, is uh, I'll need to start adding some uh, weathering to the actual uh, to the actual grey uh, grey. Uh, sorry, the mushroom grey, uh, to get all the little nooks and crannies and add dark points, make it look like it's aged and worn. Uh, the stairs I've realised, uh, it's the, 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 they're a darker colour, they're a darker shade of grey, uh, same with the bottom part of the porch. So I'll paint these a darker grey, paint that a darker grey, and then I'll weather it all.
So now that we've got all our main base colours on there, uh, the next part is to add shading. So you can usually do that uh, by adding uh, like a bit of a black wash. So you can do that with either water, like really watering down a little bit of uh, black acrylic or dark browns. Uh, or you can also, if it's lighter colours like this, you can actually do it with uh, with just general uh, water colours. Um, same again, uh, it doesn't have to be anything special, it can just be one of those uh, one of those cheap watercolour sets that you can buy uh, in, in, uh, yeah, and then just basically uh, add it on uh, and then uh, wipe off the excess with a bit of uh, old kitchen, ro uh, kitchen towel so yeah, so I'll crack on and do that now and then show you the results So as you can see there guys, the, uh, the actual difference between the two of them is, uh, is worlds apart.
Hi guys, so now that we've got the the main door and the screen weathered, it's now time to uh, just glue this and attach it in place. So I'm going to do that with just regular uh, PVA glue on the back, stick it on in place and then just basically clamp it and then leave it to dry. So yes, that's about it really. So as you can see there guys, everything's been given a black wash, so it's all looking uh, neglected and dirty and, and, and just a bit grimy in general. Uh, the stairs and the bottom part of the porch has been painted in a darker grey, obviously it's the same again, uh, black washed. Uh, the door, I've glued on the, the, the screen at the front there. So as you can see there, uh, that's looking pretty good. So the next part for this is uh, I need to glue in that little window at the top, that little uh, frosted Perspex Tupperware plastic. Uh, and then I need to add and glue in the glass from the back. And then after that, I've, I cut out a bit of uh, netting. And that's basically going to go on the back there as well. Uh, same again, it's going to be glued in place. And then when you look at it from the back, it, uh, it obviously looks like the interior of the house. So yeah, so getting back to the main parts itself, uh, I've glued the top of there. So that looks like that protective roof tarp and that, uh, that buildings have. Uh, Oh, that's nicely weathered underneath. Uh, now, getting back to... There will be a little bit more shading in part. Uh, you, you'll see that in a bit. But uh, before I start any of that, uh, there's, there's uh, leaves on this, uh, on this porch that are moulded into the plastic. So those will need painting before I start to glue everything in position. So I think I'll be uh, doing these next. So for the next part, uh, the bottom part of the porch here and here is uh, is actually going to have uh, fake grass near it. So one thing that uh, accumulates over time on concrete is uh, a bit of grass stain. So I'm going to add that with uh, with a little bit of uh, a green or dark green watercolour, uh, and I'm also going to do the sides of the. Uh, of the stairs as well so the grass will roughly come up to here so I, I just know to do a line a straight line on the bottom stair uh, I might do a little bit on the front there as well and then some more on the sides there
Okay, so now that all the main parts have been painted uh, and weathered, uh, the next step is uh, is to go ahead and uh, glue everything in place. Uh, before I get into that, I just wanted to uh, update on a few little pieces. So the main front door is uh, is finished. So obviously the screen uh, door on the front. Then you've got the main door inside. You've got the cut out uh, plastic to that to mimic broken glass. And then uh, on the back side, I've uh, glued a bit of uh, dirty uh, fabric, like to look like an uh, old lace. Uh, so that's all rock solid now. Uh, and then obviously the frosted glass at the top, which is that old bit of uh, Tupperware tub. So yeah, so the door is uh, is finished. So yeah, so uh, I can go ahead and start gluing it all up. So all the main parts are now being glued, so you can see there it's nice and sturdy, nothing's uh, coming loose. The only part that hasn't been glued is obviously the, the, the main four stairs, because obviously I need to get to the battery pack. Uh, I still need to do a little bit of shading here and there. Uh, the only new parts that I wanted to show you was uh, I painted the Halloween logo. So that is going to go onto that stair there, so it's going to be glued in a bit. Uh, I also made these little corner pieces to go up here, so I'll be gluing those next. And obviously the one the one either side. And the only other new thing, I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, but I cut out two tiny little numbers. So there's number 45 there. Now I had some trouble finding out what the actual number of this building was so yeah I'm sorry if that's not showing up uh, but basically those go on underneath this ledge here just under the roof so it looks like it's like an aged copper uh, colour so I need to paint those copper first leave them to dry and then I'll probably stick them in place with uh, super glue or PVA glue one of the two so yeah, so anyway, I had a bit of trouble with that. Uh, I've looked at the main photos from the actual DVD. Now it looks like there's actually three numbers. Uh, when I looked up online, uh, it turns out that the, the real address or the real house that they used, I believe was 707 or 706. Uh, but in the actual film or in, the, or in Halloween 2, it's mentioned that uh, it's actually uh, number 45. Uh, so, yeah, so I've decided to just go with the 45 uh, to try and keep things a little bit more uh, classic, I suppose.
So as you can see there guys, after giving the whole piece uh, an airbrush of uh, of regular black, you can see that it's looking a lot more aged and a lot more dark and a lot more atmospheric. Uh, I'd, there's a, probably a few little tiny little bits here and there that I might add later, I'm not right too sure at the moment, uh, but for the next part uh, I'm going to crack on and add the grass on either side and I'm going to stick that in place probably with just PVA glue and then put some clamps and clamp it down uh, that's on either side and the only other new thing is I printed off some no trespassing uh, logos so I've done them different sizes so I can measure which one's going to be the more correct size it's probably going to be the small one and then I'll uh, I'll add that to this beam here uh, and I'll probably do that with just a regular uh, Pritt stick. Hi guys, so as you can see the the grass is dried. Now the next part is I need to create a banister come that comes out, goes down, and then goes into the, the wood here. Now I've left a tiny little cut here uh, that I'll fill in later, but I left that on purpose so I could drill a tiny hole to house a little bit of metal to act as this uh, banister. So in the meantime, uh, I've got some uh, a really thin piece of long metal and I've bent it to roughly the right uh, perimeters. So hopefully uh, it'll fit in place. Now I've left it a little bit longer at the top because obviously this is hollow so it needs to bury inside the banister. And I left it a little bit longer down here for the same thing but for the wooden base. So I'm going to drill these holes now and hopefully it, uh, it all comes together. So yeah, so uh, in the last video, uh, this metal was a, a more of a greenish colour. Uh, that was basically it was like a like a, a green paint over the top of the metal. I uh, got rid of that with just a regular old sanding block, just basically sanded all sides of it. Uh, yeah, and it came up just nice, uh, like a like a shiny silver. So yeah, so I'm happy with that. Uh, the next part of the build. Is uh, I need to crack on with the bushes. Now there's there's thick bushes on either side. Obviously they continue on. I can only make two small uh, segments, uh, one on the left, one on the right. So yeah, uh, I'll have fun making those. Uh, the only other new thing is I've made a neglected old welcome map. See in the film, uh, Kurt, Jamie Lee Curtis's character. Uh, she's asked to drop off a key, uh, so she goes up to the Meyers place, my old Meyers house, and she puts the key under an old welcome mat. So yeah, so I needed something that looked like a mat, uh, but obviously is small and thin enough to make it look like this screen door would open. So what I did was while I was looking out for uh, for this fake grass. I also came across this. Now I thought this would probably come in handy uh, for some kind of hedging at some point. So yeah, so that's the information on it if you want to look this up. So basically what I did was I just cut off a, a small section in this top corner and then I used uh, toenail clippers to basically clip off the, the fake grass. So it now just looks like a bit of matted uh, old mat. Uh, obviously painted it uh, brown, 
Well, actually, I mix some PVA glue with the brown uh, acrylic, and then uh, yeah, so that's a nice uh, little welcome mat. So that's going to get glued in place down there. Uh, yeah, so the next part, uh, I really need to crack on with the uh, with the bushes. Okay guys, so as you can see there, uh, the bushes are made. Uh, I didn't want to go too over the top with the foliage. I didn't want it like being too extreme on either side. So basically I just created uh, these two like small thin trees. Uh, and then just added some of, uh, some of this stuff on top. So this is just basically a fake plant. And it has like a tiny little hole connection point underneath. So basically I just slotted them on in place. Uh, works really well. Uh, they're actually just being glued. So you can probably just tell there's a tiny little bit of PVA glue down there. So these are obviously drying. Uh, same on either side. Uh, the uh, Overall I'm really happy with it. I've also glued this mat in place. Uh, but getting back to the trees, uh, I'm re I am really liking it, but once it's fully dried, I might go ahead and just give it a, this main uh, part here, a, a, a simple black wash to just basically darken and dull it down a little bit. So yes, yeah, so hopefully, uh, I don't want it to be too like vibrant, because obviously it's supposed to be like a dark winter setting, so I might might get the airbrush on it, or I might just you know give it a, a few coats of uh, black watercolour uh, but for the most part it's, uh, it's, it's looking really nice Hi guys, so as you can see there, uh, I've give the uh, the bushes a quick blast of black from the uh, airbrush, so they're a lot darker now, which uh, fits more with this overall setting. Last thing you want is bright, vibrant, you know, colours in this kind of dilapidated old kind of uh, building look. Uh, I've also give a little bit of blast of uh, black on the uh, railing because obviously with it being uh, steel it uh, was a little bit too silvery and a little bit too shiny so just the odd little uh, spurt here and there just gives it a little bit more of a grimy look. Uh, also a little bit on the actual uh, fake grass, same again just to make it a little bit darker uh, and a tiny little bit on the, uh, on the little mat that I made or the little rug. So yeah, so now the next part is uh, I need to add some uh, autumn leaves that have fallen off. So I've got two different types. So I've got this uh, pu this crushed up grounded pupure stuff, which if you're interested in seeing that, that's part of one of my modelling tips. I think it was number 17. Uh, so yeah, so I'll be doing those. Very simple. You literally just get a bit of it. Dunk it in a bit of PVA glue that's on a plate and then just place it in place. Uh, leave it to dry and then uh, it should be fine. Uh, I'm also going to add some, uh, or thinking about adding some of these new ones that I made. Uh, which uh, These are modelling tip number 22 I believe. Which is basically uh, made up leaves from a hole punch stamp. So yeah, so if you're interested in seeing how I make those. 
those are uh, model and tip number 22. So yeah, so yeah, I'll just crack on with that now. Hi okay, guys, so as you can see there, the uh, the brown watercolour on the leaves has given it a universal damp wet leaf look. Uh, I also uh, give these a blast of uh, black on the airbrush just to darken them down because I felt like they were too vibrant when it come to the greens. Uh, obviously this is a dark, uh, you know, atmospheric uh, looking building so the last thing you want is vi vibrant colours. Uh, and obviously, uh, I've just painted up the uh, the old jack o' lantern. So sorry, apologies if it's not. There we go. That's a bit better. So yeah, so there's the the old jack o' lantern. So yes, yeah, so all the main parts are done. The only part that we're waiting on now is uh, is Michael Myers himself.
So there you go guys, there's Michael Myers, the night he came home, diorama built and finished. Uh, quite a lot of scratch building on this one. I uh, hope you like these uh, these videos. Uh, these are the first time I've done these kind of videos, so if you like this style uh, of me going more into depth of the build, uh, please uh, just post a comment below, just let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you did like, what you didn't like, and then... Uh, Obviously, the more feedback I get, the better the videos can be in the future. Uh, don't forget to click the like button, share on Facebook and Twitter, because it helps new people find my channel, which I'm always appreciative of. Thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for future model kit builds and statue reviews, etc. And nothing else to say, but thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.